For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and I am so excited to be bringing you a Skylar Scent Club review today. And this is gonna be a little bit longer than usual because I'm actually going to be reviewing every scent from quarter two. So that's April, May, and June of 2020. And I moved to this quarterly review model because Scent Club members do have the opportunity to go back and get prior scents while supplies last. So before I even sat down to make this video, I emailed my rep at Skylar and made sure that they had the April and May scents available. And it is confirmed these scents are still available. So if the April scent appeals to you right now in June of 2020, you as a member still have the opportunity to kind of go back and get that scent. Now I am excited to say that this video is sponsored by Skylar, but you know that that does not affect my true thoughts and opinions on the products at all. I'm still going to shoot you straight and let you know how I felt about all three scents. For those of you that are completely unfamiliar with the Skylar Scent Club, this is a monthly subscription service where you can have a rollerball size perfume sent to your door each month. These are unique scents that are not part of Skylar's permanent line, which is why it behooves you to kind of subscribe because you can only get these scents if you are a member of the Scent Club. Now it's gonna cost you 20 bucks a month to get that scent to your door, but it's a really decently sized rollerball and I feel like these scents last forever. I still have perfume in the very first scent that ever came in the scent club, and that happens to be one of my favorites, if that tells you anything. And the scent club was started back in April of 2019, so safe to say these scents last a while, and I think are definitely worth 20 bucks. Now if you're like, okay, I've heard of other scent subscription companies, what makes this Skylar Scent Club any more unique? Well, that has to do with like the nitty gritty. It boils down to their ingredients. This is a clean, hypoallergenic, cruelty-free, perfume brand. So this is for those of you that are typically really irritated by a lot of fragrances on the market, and our perfumes are typically laden with a lot of chemicals that probably shouldn't be absorbing into our skin, and so Skylar's mission was to go out and change that. Since then, their product lines have completely expanded and they have lotions, they have deodorants, they have body wash, and the Scent Club is just one that I happen to love a lot. But I also really love perfumes, so if you're not a perfume person, I don't know why you clicked on this video. So now that I've shared with you all of the details about the Skylar Scent Club, let's start in chronological order. We're gonna start from April 2020 and move our way to June 2020. So the first scent that came in this quarter was named Sun Shower, and I love that Skylar always includes three three words on the front that kind of describe the feeling that you get when you smell this scent. So with Sun Shower, they're expecting you to feel kind of cool, citrusy, dewy. So when I first read that, I was like, oh yeah, this sounds like something that I'd like. And then I flip it over on the back and every box outlines the top scent notes that you'll smell once you actually rub this onto your skin. The top scent notes of Sun Shower are lemon leaves, jasmine tea, and meadow greens. Then if you move down a little further on the box, it gives you suggestions of what scents that you should layer this perfume with in their existing permanent line. And I love this idea. Skylar really was the first brand to kind of introduce me to perfume layering. It's so funny because I have a friend that's very into perfume and she always calls it like making a cocktail on your skin and I thought that that was a really good image to kind of paint you. They say that you should layer Sun Shower with Isle and Meadow. And Isle, for your knowledge, it, it's top notes are like bergamot. It's described as like their fresh and clean scent. To me, it feels kind of lived in. It's just a very kind of neutral scent in my opinion. It also happens to be one of my very favorites from the line. And then Meadow is more of their floral permanent scent in their line. So I can see this layering well with both. I have layered this with Isle and absolutely loved it. If I were to describe this in like Maggie terms and not the terms that they use on the box, I would just describe this as super fresh, clean, springy, fresh out the shower. So this does have jasmine tea and meadow greens. To me, I smell a lot more of the jasmine than I do any sort of like floral grassy smells with the meadow greens. So I would say that jasmine definitely comes through a bit stronger than the other. Now lemon leaves, you can totally smell the citrus in this, which is, I think is why I love it so much because I am really, really drawn to citrusy, fresh scents. Love, love, love Sun Shower. Now, so since a lot of you that watch this video are already existing members of the Skylar Scent Club, I thought that it would be beneficial if I went back in time and pulled out scents that have previously been sent to you so that I could give an adequate comparison 
to a perfume that you've already smelled. So I've kind of grabbed perfumes that I felt like would be in the same family as Sun Shower. And the one that most closely relates to it is the very first scent that Skylar ever came out with, and that is Magic Bloom. This was sent in April of 2019, and this has top scent notes of pear, yuzu, and magnolia. It's described as bright, juicy, and tart. And a surefire way for you to identify whether or not you would like a scent in that family is to go to the scents that they tell you to layer things with and that will give you a really good idea. So this one, much like Sun Shower, they suggested that you layer with Meadow and Isle. I'm very proud of myself, put myself on the back. I picked this out without even looking at the layering notes and then I was like, dang, Maggie, you were dead on. Now to me, Magic Bloom is just as it describes, a bit more tart, a bit more citrusy, kind of like when you bite into a lemon, you just have all of those different kind of like feelings in your mouth, whereas Sun Shower is just a little bit more palatable. So if you want something that's a little bit more toned down than Magic Bloom, you will absolutely love Sun Shower, but you're still gonna get the citrusy kind of floral elements to it. So these to me are the most closely related. However, I wanted to go ahead and throw one other scent into the mix just to show you what type of family this falls into. And I would also say that Salt Air is definitely in this family. It may be kind of like a second cousin, whereas these are like sisters, but Salt Air is definitely still in that fresh and clean family, and so I had to throw that out there. So moving on to May 2020 scent, it was called Coco Colada. And this was one that I opened up and I was like, mm, I don't know if this is gonna be for me. This was described as exotic, sweet, and mystifying. And typically when a scent is described as sweet, I'm like, mm, yep, surefire word to make me run in the opposite direction. And that's what's so funny about this scent club and why I've enjoyed it so much is because it's really tested my taste. And it's really kind of like, stretched and broadened my horizons as far as perfume goes because I find myself liking so many different things that I never thought that I would have liked or never would have ordered online or never would have you know, gone to in a store if it was described a particular way. So the top notes in Coco Colada are star fruit, coconut water, and salted cedar. I thought that was so unique and I just had no idea how those were gonna play together. And they suggest that you layer this with Capri and Isle. And those are two of my favorite scents from the permanent line. So when I got to that, I was like, you know what? I may actually like this. Now this definitely is sweet. This is a lot sweeter than any other perfumes that I reach for ordinarily. However, I've gotten a pretty good amount of use out of this because it is so unique to me. So one thing to note about this perfume is that it's smells completely different in the roller ball than it does on your skin long term. When you first smell it out of the tube, it's definitely very sweet, but you get a lot of citrus and bright notes out of it. And as soon as you rub it on your skin, it starts to transform and become a little bit more complex. So I'd say it goes on and immediately smells fruity, but the longer you let it sit on your hand, you really start to smell that coconut water and it really get like subtle hints of like an earthy element, which I think is that salted cedar. The more it wears, the more tropical it feels, which immediately brought a specific scent to mind that I'll share with you in just a minute. But this was so surprising to me. Because I, I'm having a really hard describing this, I think I would definitely describe it as mystifying. But sweet, I do think is a little misleading because it's definitely not overly sweet. So just like I did with Sun Shower, I want to relate it to a couple of scents that have previously come in the scent club. So the scent that I think Coco Colada from May 2020 is most closely related to would be Love in Paradise. Now this was the fifth scent, which leads me to believe it was sent in like August-ish of 2019. This one was described as exotic, passionate, and tropical. And I remember opening this up for the first time and being like, yep, I bet those are gonna smell similar. Now it's funny because I absolutely love Coco Colada and Love in Paradise, clearly, it's almost completely full, is one that I really haven't gotten a ton of use out of. And that for me is because this was a little bit too overly sweet. So to contrast how sweet Love in Paradise is with how not sweet <laughs> Coco Colada is, the top scent notes in Love in Paradise are things like sweet pineapple, island papaya, and then the pakake or pake, I don't know how to pronounce it, a flower. And so you know how sweet pineapple is and you know how sweet papaya is. And so this one definitely is not that sweet, but they are totally in the same tropical family. If you did love this one, I do think that you'll love Coco Colada. But if you're like me and you are so, so on Love in Paradise and you love fresh citrusy scents, I think that you would love Coco Colada. It might push your boundaries a little bit, but this one was surprisingly a top favorite. 
All right, and just like that, we are already at the June 2020 scent. And this one, my friends, is definitely ranked in like top three Skylar Scent Club scents. I love it. This is called Ojai Sunset. And this is described as warm, lush, and delicious. And when it said warm, I was like, mmm, this could be dicey. And see, I always judge a book by its cover when it comes to these dang scent descriptions. But as soon as I smell them, I'm like, oh wait, this is good. So this is described as dazzling ribbons of color dance across the sky. Her eyes wander across the horizon as the sun falls to sleep. So you're supposed to be transported to like an evening on the beach, you know what I mean? Sunset, you've just taken a shower, you're all dressed and ready to go out to dinner, and you wanna put this scent on. The top scent notes in Ojai Sunset are wild raspberry, pink peony, and vanilla. And when I read that, I was like, mm, there was another scent with raspberry that I really didn't like, and I worry about them saying vanilla, like this just seems like it's gonna be way too warm for me. Absolutely not. Y'all, this scent smells so good. This is one of those that definitely transforms over time and that your body chemistry does a little bit of work on. When I smell this, I smell a lot of the peony and a lot of the raspberry. I don't necessarily smell a whole lot of vanilla. They suggest that you layer this with Capri and Salt Air, which Salt Air, for those of you that didn't know, is now part of their permanent line, which is amazing because I freaking love that perfume. And these two are like just my top, top favorites. And so when I saw that you're supposed to layer it with these, I knew that this was gonna be a home run. And I will say, I went through all of my old Skylar Scent Club scents, sniffed them all, and nothing smelled like this. I couldn't relate it to anything in their temporary line. So I went to my perfume drawer and I smelled all of the permanent scents that I have for their line, and this just smells most closely related to Capri. Now, I would also say if Capri and Coral had a baby, I feel like you would get something that smelled a little bit like this. It's really strong and it stays on your skin for so long, which is huge because I will say with a lot of Skylar scents, I do have to reapply throughout the day. On the whole, their scents tend to fade on me pretty easily. Like sun shower, I have to reapply two and three times a day if I want that scent to last. This, I can apply once and it lasts forever. In fact, when I first rolled this on, I was like, Brian, smell the new scent. And he was like, I don't need to lean in. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Clearly I put on a little bit too much, but this one is just like extremely, extremely strong. This smells like such a grown up, punchy, fruity scent. And I hope that makes sense. And I think that's what they threw the vanilla in there for. It's like that perfect, you wanna put on something that's a little bit more complex at nighttime and not something as fresh and fruity like you would wear throughout the day in the sun. This smells so good and I hope that I've adequately described this I know I've been kind of all over the place one thing I also want to point out is that a portion of proceeds from this month's scent will be donated to the raining season I had no idea what that charity was so I had to look it up it says that the mission and philosophy of the raining season I'm reading directly from their website is that they strive to provide a hopeful future and seek justice for vulnerable children in an effort to raise up a new generation that will in turn bring hope for generations to come. Skylar is always so pointed in who they're partnering with. And so they really pay attention to current events. They really pay attention to what's going on in the world around us. And they try to contribute and help in those ways. And so I just think that that is awesome and it's just another reason why I love Skylar. Hopefully this new quarterly rundown was fun. It introduced you to a couple of new scents that you may be interested in. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you're interested in joining the Scent Club after hearing about the variety of different scents that they offer, I will actually have a code. It is 50 this or that that can get you 50% off of your first month's scent. So if you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.